Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend Heroes Trails of Zero. Last time, Kia decided to run away from the hospital, and because of that, we're really no longer, like, no closer to finding out anything about her memories whatsoever. She pretty much just doesn't want to be away from Lloyd, or, you know, any of the people of, uh, the SSS. Okay. Oh. I hope not to. Hmm. I think that she'll be fine, though. Oh, hey, there she is. Oh. Yeah, remember earlier when we dropped her off at the uh, bus stop here at the hospital? She said something like, I don't really care about my memories. Like, what's the big deal? It seems like everybody else wants her to get her memories back. And she's like, I'm fine without my memories. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's fine. So she doesn't really understand what the big deal is. Oh, did she get lost? You okay? Yeah, it seems that way. Does both Kia and Renee refer to themselves in the third person? Like, seriously, game? Seriously? I really have to put up with that? <laughs> and what's with the foo-foo? I mean, come on. Oh, I guess uh, Arios is coming on by. Oh, hey, Kia. Making another little new friend over here? Well, I'm not really looking at things. She's kind of blind. She's just, I guess, enjoying the uh, air and the quiet. Oh. Well, there is a spot right there that you can use. Again, I wouldn't do it during the intermission. I'll do it during chapter four. She's a sweet girl, too. Yeah, you know, we tried to help her out, but then she ran away. She's not exactly the most helpful person around. Oh, it was just for a week, though, Kia. Maybe not even a week. Maybe just three days tops. <laughs> Strategic retreat. What is this, like a tactics game or something? Come on now. Yeah, that's not exactly grown up of you, Kia. Oh, that's right, yeah. Shizuku knows exactly who we are. Not that we've really talked to her all that much, but she knows who we are. Oh, yeah. It's kind of a sad life. You know, blind people can live a, a, a really good, fulfilling life. They don't have to stay locked up in a hospital forever. I mean, that's horrible. I guess so. She doesn't have any sight and you don't have any memories. No, no, nothing. Oh, that's good. Although, Shizuku, on the other hand, she seems rather lonely. Oh, And Arios is just kind of, you know, off doing his own thing. I guess, you know, she does have all the other nurses and everything, but no family, really. And how often does Arios actually ever really come around, you know? I mean, he's so busy doing all of his work. It's kind of a sad existence for her. But here we are, it is now nighttime at the hospital, and just like last time where I put the hospital dialogue in the end slate of the video, the nighttime dialogue will also be in the end slate of today's video as well. That way, you know, because I know that there, are, that there are those of you who don't really care about the NPC dialogue, that way it doesn't kind of clog up the, um, the video. You know, if you want to watch it, it's at the end, if you don't, hey, feel free to skip it and move on with the life. It's up to you. So anyway, 
Let's head on down here and uh, talk to her. Maybe we can convince Kia to stay here at the hospital. I mean, hopefully. Oh, they're just down here discussing. It's cute. Well, he is kind of a divine wolf. He is kind of a god of some sort. Oh, My dog loves that too. Actually, he loves it whenever you rub his tummy. Cute little puppy. Yeah, all dogs are fluffy, fluffy, and sweet. I would imagine she must come to Crossville every once in a while. I can't keep her hold up here forever. Aww. Wow, Kia's making all sorts of friends. The Sunday school kids, now Shizuku. Good for you. Oh. Yeah, so you know Estelle and Joshua as well. Yeah, Kia's not exactly a fan of her. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Oh, yeah. It's a sad state of affairs, but it is what it is. I guess he has to work to, you know, pay all those medical bills and everything. And who are you? Oh, hey, Arios! Hey, awesome! Yeah, your help on multiple occasions, actually. Oh, well, thanks. Oh, yeah. You know, we did ask the bracers about that. I guess that Arius would have heard that about uh, from Michael and Joshua and Estelle and all that. Why, do you happen to know her? Do you know anything about her? Something? I mean, you've been all across the world. Maybe you've heard something, some rumor or something? Oh. Nothing. She's just mysterious. Well, we kind of already knew that. Oh. Yeah. Well, it looks like she's coming out of her shell for Kia. Maybe she just needed, you know, another girl her own age here. Oh. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, we kind of don't either. <laughs> oh, well, we plan to. We're actually, you know, pretty much considering adopting her. I mean, she's a sweet kid. Okay. It does, it's kind of strange how this game almost takes like a total 180 um, at the end of chapter three. You know, we go from trying to solve crimes and everything, and uh, getting rid of the mob and the mafia and all that, to be just becoming like doting parents of this sweet girl that we just happen to run across. You know, it's almost like, you know, life stops for the SSS because we're, you know, busy with her. Or at least in the intermission we are. Oh, well that's good. Um, that's because he is strong, it's not, there's no somehow about it. Although, the translation seems to always use the word somehow, like, constantly. It's somehow kind of odd. <laughs> yeah, it has been quite some time. Oh. Wow, she's really bound and determined, isn't she? Huh. Well, I guess if you don't want to, you don't have to. It would just kind of help us out. But, you know, maybe we can try to find this place where you came from, this kind of dark place with the light up top? Maybe we'll come across a quest or something. Maybe her parents will come visiting Crossbell trying to look for her. Maybe her parents will contact the Bracer Guild, you know, saying that the child is missing. And then we'll be able to, um, you know, send her off to her parents. I mean, something's gotta happen with this girl. Oh, we're not 
trying to be mean. Yeah, it's getting late. We gotta go. Well, she kinda has to go too. You know, her dad is here and everything. Oh, yeah. You know, Shizuka was able to get down here on her own. I imagine that she has a, a cane or a walker or something that she uses, um, you know, in order to, you know, see what's in front of her. Um, what's that little, it's, it's like this, like, rod or something, it has like a ball on the end that the blind people use. Um, in order to find their way, you know, through the city if they're walking, so I imagine that she had to use that. And you would think that her father would want her to assert her independence and, and continually use it rather than carry her all over the place. I don't know. That's just me, though. Oh, well, yeah, that's what evening is, Kia. Okay. Right, here we are back in Crossbell. Huh. Yeah, we'll be saying our goodbyes to Sister Cecil in the end slate. Um, you know, because we really didn't get a chance during the um, afternoon to um, go around with Kia. So, yeah. We don't really... I mean, I guess it's like an off-screen goodbye, which is... Fine, whatever. Oh, what's going on with Ravash? Whoa. Well, you guys kind of had to because you were caught red-handed smuggling people and God knows what else. Well, Garcia was in charge of security, so I guess this is, uh, is just desserts. Oh, so Marconi got Kia. Huh. Yeah, that's true. But then again, that guy said the doll. Did they originally get a doll? And then it was like switched for Kia? Hmm. Yeah, you're kind of on Hartman's shit list. Oh. Well, I guess they're gonna run you out of town. You guys deserve it. You guys suck. Really? I'm kind of shocked that you ever had any sort of supremacy in Crossbell at all. You guys are terrible. So I guess there's like some sort of underground attacks going on between these two. Well, there is no guarantee. There's no guarantee in life. I mean, what do you want, Marconi? Um, you want us to take on this thousand-year-old assassin who's, like, pretty much a ghost and can appear and disappear at will? Are you crazy? With these losers? They can't even keep the frickin' police out. How are they gonna keep out Yin? I mean, come on. Give up your life of crime and actually, you know, get a job? Just a thought. Your trump card? What's that? I don't have a good feeling about this. Their insurance. Hmm. Could it be in that monster chest behind you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yikes. So we're gonna get the guild and the police involved on, a uh, Ravage here if they use this trump card. But whatever it is, it looks like they're gonna be able to crush all the other mafia with them. The distribution network? Distribution for what? Drugs? I don't know. How strange. How odd. Uh-oh. Yikes. So he wants to control the entirety of Crossbow's underworld. Holy crap! I wonder what he has up his sleeve! Oh, 
Uh, hey, and with that, we've completed the intermission. Sweet. Aquarius gem is actually really good. Um, it increases your healing arts potency by 50%. So if you would like originally cast here and it would heal 500 HP, now it would heal 750 HP. So that's very, very nice. And next time on Let's Play the Legendary for Heroes Trails of Zero, we're going to move on to Chapter 4. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And stick around for the end slate where we talk to everybody at the hospital. Have a good day.